In traditional manufacturing environments, companies generally produce in large lots or batch sizes. Each company does this for different reasons, but in general, it's to avoid lengthy changeover times and to spread the costs of manufacturing over a large quantity of items. In addition to these benefits, however, large lot sizes have some disadvantages too. Large lot sizes create large amounts of inventory, which in turn tines up large amounts of cash. In addition to this, if one part in the lot is wrong, it's a given that other parts will likely be wrong too. With that in mind, large lots may have a limited number of benefits, but they also come with a massive increase in waste, cost, and resources. The just-in-time system moves production through the transformation process in a smaller lot size format. In fact, the ideal is true one-piece flow. In order for a company to produce in a one-piece flow manner, they must learn how to be more flexible with changeovers, more efficient with production, and tighter on quality. One technique that companies use to do this is the SMED approach that was first shared in the book A Revolution in Manufacturing, the SMED System. In the book, Dr. Shigeo Shingo shares the three stages of the SMED system that can be used to improve changeovers. They are, first, separate internal setup activities from external setup activities, then convert internal setup activities to external setup activities, and finally, streamline all aspects of your setup. With this in mind, we will look briefly at these three phases in the next few videos. Until then, consider the following question that you can answer in the comments, upcoming assignments section, or on a piece of paper. How long does the average changeover take you in your place of work, and why do you think it takes so long? We look forward to hearing back from each of you, and we'll see you in the next video. The SMED system is based on three stages. Separate internal setup from external setup, convert internal setup activities to external setup activities, and streamlining all aspects of your setup. In this video, we will introduce the first stage of SMED to you, separating internal setup activities from external setup activities. Internal setup refers to the activities associated with elements of a setup procedure that can only be performed while a process or machine is not running. External setup time is the amount of time associated with the elements or activities of a setup procedure that are performed while the machine is running. In many traditional changeover activities, internal and external activities are mixed together. In other words, changeover activities that could be performed while a machine is running often wait until a machine stops. In other words, many things that could be done while a machine runs sit and wait until the machine stops. This drastically increases changeover times and other forms of waste. In this first stage of separating internal and external setup activities, external activities are sorted out of the process so that they can either be done beforehand or after when the machine is back up and running again. This first phase usually involves a lot of checklists, function checks, and watching for opportunities to reduce transportation waste, specifically with tooling and parts required. Some critical items to look for that can reduce waste by as much as 50% are bringing all the necessary tools, parts, and materials to the machine while it's running 
and looking to confirm the function of parts that may be exchangeable or interchangeable before stopping a machine to begin the changeover process. Now, before we move on to the next video, here's a question that may help you improve your changeovers right away. While watching a changeover, do you see any steps in the changeover that could have been performed while the machine was running, but instead waited until the machine was stopped? Share your answers in the comments section, upcoming assignments section, or on a piece of paper, and we'll see you shortly. SMED system, three phases of implementation occur, separating internal and external setup activities, converting internal setup activities to external setup activities, and streamlining all aspects of a setup operation. In this video, we will introduce the second stage, converting internal setup activities into external activities. Once you have identified and separated both internal setup activities and external ones, you can then go back and look at the value stream closely again. You may be thinking, what am I looking for? In this phase, you are looking to find internal activities that may be able to be performed externally. Put another way, you are looking for activities that are performed while the machine is stopped and trying to find ways to perform these activities while the machine is still running. Some of the more general activities that are common improvements in stage two of the SMED system are preparing tools, conditions, and materials in advance. For example, get your tools while the machine is still running. Heat up tooling with a heater instead of using trial shots and have materials ready before the changeover occurs. Find tooling and devices that automatically measure and position without you having to manually measure for appropriate fits. And that's it. Stage two of the SMED system. Remember, this is just an introduction to the SMED system. As you gain more experience and confidence, you may consider diving deeper into SMED with books or studying the detailed REDUCE methodology, which is based on the SMED system. Now, before we go, let's challenge our minds a little. What activities can you think of that are performed while a machine or computer are stopped that could be performed while the machine is still running? We look forward to hearing from you, and we'll see you in the next video. The single minute exchange of dyes system created by Dr. Shigeo Shingo and the reduce methodology that is based on Dr. Shingo's system are powerful ways to reduce changeover times. In this video, we will briefly introduce stage three of the single minute exchange of dye system, streamlining all aspects of your setup. After completing the first two phases of the SMED system, the third stage looks to really make the value stream flow. This oftentimes involves reviewing the value stream and eliminating various forms of MUDA and moving from sequential operations to parallel operations, which allows two operations to be completed at the same time rather than waiting for sequential completion of each of the operations. Two other common methods that people find very beneficial in their efforts to further streamline all aspects of the setup process are using functional clamps in place of nuts and bolts. Not only does this reduce many forms of MUDA, 
but it can also reduce the need for many different types of tools. Using numerical settings can also help eliminate the need for excessive testing and trial and error adjustments that oftentimes need to be done in traditional manufacturing environments when a changeover occurs. And that's it. A brief introduction to the final stage of the SMED system. Now, before we go, please take a moment to answer the following question in the comments section, upcoming assignments section, or on a piece of paper from your desk. What other ways can you think of to streamline your setup or changeover activities? Thanks again for watching everyone, and we'll see you in the next video.